Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with my first layout using the July kits. Now as you can see from the photo that I, I ended up changing this layout quite a bit. So I'm going to show you just the beginning of this just to see where I started and then where I ended up. So I had cut these three October afternoon papers from the summertime collection and I really love them. I think that they're super cute and I kind of layered them up and I thought that I was going to go that route. I'm giving you a little cameo of Ellie here. She was crafting with me and was quite the distraction so I thought I would insert a little bit of cuteness. So you could see there the path that I went down and then I decided that wasn't working for me. So I switched to use this Ellie Studio paper which I really love as the background paper and I think it just suits the pictures better and the embellishments that I chose. I use mostly embellishments from the Ellie Studio um, ephemera pack and as you can see I had already put down a couple of hearts on the layout there on the pictures and I also used some of the little embellishments that come with the crepe paper poolside like mason jars and then I used um, one sticker from last month's kit from the poolside like 6 by 12 stickers and it's that little um, pink kind of banner thing that I'm gonna end up putting in the top right hand corner so like I said this layout really went a completely different route than those with those summertime papers. I'm going to save, I, when I took the photos off that, I saved that strip because hopefully I'll be able to do something with it in the future. I just, I don't know, I think it was because there were two pictures, which is kind of, for me, for my eye at least, is kind of busy because I'm used to just doing one picture. And so when I added that on top of the three pattern papers, it made it like more busy. And so I just, I was just wasn't feeling it. I had a hard time with this one. And I don't know why. Sometimes I struggle with the first layout um, using a kit because like, I'm really excited to use this stuff, but then I'm kind of hesitant to use it because I'm like, well, what if that would go better on some, another project? And, you know, sometimes I just have to take a step back and get over myself and, and come back, which is what I did here, which is why my nails are now painted and I have on a different shirt. <laughs> I had to take a step back for the day and, and come back later. And I'm really happy with the way this layout turned out. It's kind of it's kind of like clean and simple because there's not a whole lot going on. I didn't do any ink splatters or anything like that. I did, um, after I took the final photos, outline the, the perimeter of the 12 by 12 paper. But I did journal on this this page, which I haven't done in a long time. I've been journaling on the back. Just because, I don't know, I just like the way it looks when it's on the back of the layout. But on this one, I thought that it needed something else. So I did the journal. I kind of combined the journaling with the title. So as you can see there, I'm just adding a little cluster in the upper right-hand corner. All of those like glittery gold pieces are from the little embellishments that come with the crepe paper poolside mason, jar, mason jars. And the rest are from Ellie's Studio um, ephemera pack that we get, except for the little round circle that says June and the banner. Like I said, those are from last month's kit. Yeah. And then those little crosses, like Swiss crosses I have over there on the left, are from the poolside 12 by 12 chipboard. But I don't, I think I'll end up using one of those because. The, I had pulled those colors to go with the October afternoon papers, but I felt like they didn't, I didn't really need all of them on this layout. Just kind of keeping it simple. So I'm going to use the um, thickers from American Crafts that we got, the black ones in the kit. I'm going to use those for my title, which is just going to be Playtime. This picture was actually like, I think the second day we had... Ellie and that tennis ball I mean she can barely hold it in her little mouth bless her heart but she was determined to play so she's like six weeks old there she's 10 weeks old now or she'll be 10 weeks on Monday which is crazy she's growing so fast I can't believe it she doesn't look like a little puppy anymore well you saw in that little clip she wasn't cooperating in that clip either so I really love these thickers they're thick what was that what word did I say I must say thickers they're super cute. I like how thin they are, how narrow, and they're foam, which I find the easiest to work with. A lot of times I'll use my T-square ruler like this and line it up just so I have a straight line to place my title on, especially when my pictures are kind of 
cattywampus. Like my pictures aren't straight. So I feel like the title needs to be like, I feel like there always needs to be something straight or lined up on a layout, whether it's like your photo, the papers that you back behind your photos. I mean, sometimes I just freehand cut those so they're not straight, but then I'll make sure that my title is straight or you know, maybe one row of embellishments are straight, but I always feel like if it has one thing that's straight, it looks, um, like more thought out than if everything is kind of, you know, not, not straight. Wow. That was eloquent. You know what I mean? <laughs> Geez, apparently I'm having a hard time with voiceovers too, <laughs> but this is just all my opinion. I mean, I've seen layouts that are just incredibly gorgeous, and I have no idea if they lined up their title or not. But for me, if I don't line it up, it goes crazy. I tend to go to, as I put the stickers down, to like veer upwards, so it looks kind of crazy. So I'm just going to add this little um, chipboard piece there, and then I'm going to add my journaling. And I can't remember if I did that on camera or not. I don't think that I did, but you can see it in the final photos. I added a couple of, like a little thing of roller date stamps and then the journaling. Thanks guys so much for watching. Check out the hip kit and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.